What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another One Punch Man World video. Alright guys, we've been playing this live uh, every day so far <laughs> for the one day that it's been out. Uh, but we've done about six hours with a live streaming. So check out those live streams if you have not done so. We've done a lot of content on there. A lot of tips, a lot of tricks, a lot of ways to get things done, a lot of uh, information about characters. Uh, but one I do want to talk about today is going to be Zombie Man. Now I am going to be a completely free to play player. The way you know this is going to happen and why I'm free to play is if you go here, you can check your first top up. It has not been touched. I have not bought anything. So I'm completely free to play. A couple things I want to talk about. These world silvers, save them for limited time batters. Okay. Save your tickets. Oh, sorry. Use your tickets for your summoning banners only but the world silver you definitely want to save now last night on the massive three and a half hour stream that i did which is very rare for me uh, i got myself zombie man okay so zombie man was my pity character now zombie man was not a character that was in cbt for me to use so i have now fallen in love with this character i'm gonna place him as my number two or number three top characters in the list he's definitely an ss character but i want to do a showcase for you guys and kind of talk to you about what he's all about and how he works so you guys can see here here's my zombie man i am a tier three level 50. uh gameplay wise i'm going to show you guys just his skills and what he's all about uh, and then how he works okay so he has two forms he has handgun and axe form and in dual handgun form. When his HP is low, his combat abilities increase significantly. So, which, And this is a very big deal. So when his HP drops, he does insane amount of damage. When his HP goes up, that damage drops, okay? Now, when you are doing... I'm going to do free training for you guys, okay? When you are doing the two different modes, this is how it works, okay? I'm going to explain to you guys exactly how he functions. You guys can see right now, I have an axe in my hand, okay? So axe mode... He actually loses HP when he attacks. Look at that. You see, every time I do a skill or an attack, I lose my HP. But my damage goes up significantly. You guys can see here, now my damage keeps increasing, right? Basic, basic attacks, it doesn't matter. Now, as we build his damage up, right? You guys can see my crit goes up, my attack goes up, everything goes up. When his damage, when he builds up his circle attack, which I'm going to show you guys on the screen right here. I'm going to move, 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 move my camera. Sorry, one sec here. Let me move my camera. Doo, doo, doo. Up here. Okay. When he goes into this mode and his circle is ready, this right here, he switches his modes. Now you can see in the middle of the screen right here, he's got two guns now. Now you can see his HP is also going up. So you, his guns will do damage, but they don't do as much damage as his actual axes. So these guns will be your ranged attacks. So he switches between melee and range based on where you are in your stances. So the two guns, the dual guns, is going to be his range mode. His range is actually pretty significant, and he does insane amounts of damage at a very quick time. But you can see here now, though, the damage does go down because he's back at full health. So you press circle again, he'll do this animation with his guns, and then now you can see in the animation screen, he's got an axe again. Okay, so back to doing axe. Now you lose health again. Now here you want to lose as much health as you possibly can, safely, before you switch over. So do as many combos as you can, do as many normal attacks, do as many specials as you can, but don't press that circle until you are low enough in health where it feels comfortable that you'll survive and get as much damage as you possibly can with your regular moves, okay? So you guys can see here now I'm getting green and red. That means I'm getting close to the limit for the axe mode. Now if I press this, switching it back, right? Look how much damage did this. 3,000 damage, and now I'm going back into range mode, and you can see here, my health is now climbing back up. So, Zombie Man is, in my opinion, the perfect combination of psychotic, <laughs> up, up range, sorry, close range combat, and range combat as well too. Like, he has so far been the perfect balanced character. Now, this is how Genos plays as well. The difference with Genos is his damage doesn't increase. Genos' damage actually stays the same, but he has two different modes. He has melee mode and he has um, a range mode, right? And Zombie Man, I think, does it so well that you guys can continue going between the two modes and dish out massive amounts of damage. So this is a quick little training session. Now I'm going to show you guys a video of me fighting a couple bosses with Zombie Man that I did from the live stream. And um, in terms of tiers, I can tell you now when I do upgrade my tier list, he's probably going to be a step below Sonic and a step below Atomic Samurai, but I'm going to place him probably equal to Saitama uh, as an SS character for sure. Like I think he is easily going to be one of the best characters, especially with the amount of damage and quickness that he dishes out. So he's the perfect balance for range, close combat, as well as speed, and he is a badass. 
So there you guys go. So let me go ahead and jump into some of the videos I've already done for him with boss battles. You guys can check out how he functions. I'm going to do a few regular bosses and then some of the harder bosses so you guys can see why he's going to be a top tier character probably for quite some time. All right, guys, I'll be right back. All right, guys, real quick here before we go on to the next part of the video, I do want to talk about his impressions real quick, which play a major role in how a character develops, right? So the basic impression, his R impression is going to increase his base attack and also apply a heal that he can do on himself. Uh, for 2% of his max HP. This is actually really nice because when you are really low in the axe phase and you are desperate for a little bit of a heal just to continue with a little bit of an onslaught with your damage, this is going to be a great one to have. So definitely use this and it's an R one so you can probably get quite a few of these dupes and enhance these arms even further. So not a bad one to have. The more you increase it, the more you can see here the heal happens and you can apply it twice eventually when you max it out. So pretty good and the base attack increase is not bad. The SR version here will actually give him base HP Increase his crit by 6% when the HP below uh, drops below 15%. You can see here they really want you to play that fine line between death and survivability. But this is kind of the purpose of him, right? And the arm skill itself applies encouragement to yourself and one other ally for 60 seconds, granting 24% attack bonus and increasing assault attack stats by 60%. So this is huge. You definitely want to get this one if you can. And then SSR, this is the one I'm personally going to choose for him. Basic Composure Reduction is going to be the damage reduction that he gets. Increases the crit damage of our Mountain of Quake and Torrential Downpour by 8%. And then here all allies gain might until the end of the battle, granting them 40% of Zombie Man's Composure Reduction stat. This effect is increased by 100% for Assault type, which is the blue type. When cast, it deals 2,000 damage, so 2,000% of Zombie Man's Composure Reduction as Composure damage to the target. And if the target is weak to Assault, multiply this by 5 insane so this is going to be definitely my new uh favorite uh impression currently that's out until atomic samurai drops uh i'll probably be using this guy as my main character all right guys now going on to the actual action parts of the video okay here's the battle uh, let's go zombie man for this one yeah so once you once you get to this point guys where <laughs> look at the burger monster it's amazing um once you get to this point of the game just make sure that you are doing all your side quests, okay? Do all of your, uh, try to find all your mystery tokens, etc. Because you're gonna need to, you're gonna need to be able to um, get to level 20. And the only way to do it is doing these things and commissions. And commissions are going to be, um, I'll show you guys commissions shortly if you guys are new to this game. They're essentially like your dailies, okay? Uh, no, I wouldn't put them above. Um, I would put them... Like, right below Atomic Samurai, probably equal to Saitama. Let me just do another one of these fights. Just to get some more tokens out of it. Uh, what do I have to do here this time? I'll just Okay, this is easy. Uh, I'm, pro I'm probably going to use... I have to see what's available. I, I forgot who they allow you to choose. Um, but I'm probably going to go Zombie Man, to be honest. He he's Right now, he's been my... Uh, besides Sonic and Atomic Samurai, he's my favorite playstyle so far. I think PvP will make it completely. Com Sorry, I think PvP will make it completely uh, pay to win. I'll be honest with you guys. I'm gonna ignore PvP. I'm gonna pretend it doesn't exist uh, because I don't think it's worthwhile to even think too much about it. So yeah, I think PvP is gonna really mess things up for a lot of folks. But again, I'm just gonna play for fun, man. I'm not. I'm not worried about you know if it's gonna be pay to win or not. That's not gonna be in my mind at all. Zombie Man, I'm telling you guys, Zombie Man is the shit right now though. Loving his playstyle. Like, absolutely loving his playstyle. Yeah, perfect. If he's there, then I'm picking him. Zombie Man is gonna be my selector, for sure. For sure. He might actually be my second favorite unit. I love, uh, I love Sonic as my second favorite right now, Atomic being first, Atomic Samurai being first, but I have to admit, Zombie Man is, is very unique. Sorry guys, one second here. Okay. There we go, completed. Let's exit this. 
I'm going to try uh, the third stage to see if I can beat it. Claim all. Getting a lot of my tokens back, though. That's kind of nice. Okay, yeah, we can definitely do this one. All right, guys. I've got um, I've got 15 minutes left. All right. Uh, Zombie Man does more damage than Sonic. Yeah, he's just not as fast. I mean, actually, I can't really say that. I'll take that back. I, I really can't say that yet because I, I haven't. You know, I, depending on how you have like when I played Sonic, he was maxed out for me. So like the damage was really good for him. I know Atomic Samurai did way better damage though than him when I played the two of them, right? But I, I don't know if, 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 if um, Zombie Man's going to do more or less. I shouldn't say that. I'm assuming he'll do more in, in his axe mode, but in range mode, he might do the same amount. So I think that's more of a... more of like, I gotta wait and see. Gotta break this damn shield, guys. Almost there. Almost got it broken. Oh, damn. That hurt. Let's go, chump. Gotcha, bitch. That coma is really deadly, by the way. Don't get hit. If you have a coma, that they do 40% more damage on you. I should have brought some food for this fight. More more attack food. Oh, she was charging up again. Okay, dodge there, but... Oh, shoot. What is this? Two minutes left, guys. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this. This guy has a lot of health. Like, a lot of health. One thing I will say that I don't like, your special builds based on the amount of damage these guys take. So if you're if they're, they're, they have high health, your special is not building up that fast either. Gotta run, gotta run. Oh shit, that hurt. Yeah, I don't know if I... Oh, uh, you know what? This might be cutting it close, guys. We might be able to actually do this. I gotta, I gotta get back to uh, other mode quick. There we go. Perfect. Look how much health I have left, though. There we go. Dodge that nicely. Let's go. You bitch. Okay, let's go back to axe mode. Do as much damage as we can. We're almost running out of time, guys. Just gonna do one more of those jumps. Okay, I gotta, I gotta get my special in quickly. Shit, 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 don't get killed. One more hit. Okay, come on. Woo, this is close. Limited, ba limited banner pity is going to be the same. It's 60, it's 60 pity for limited banners. So it doesn't share with normal, though. So it's, it's the same thing as normal, but you use different... Uh, you, end, you end up using a different um, uh, currency altogether. Yeah, I can imagine Metal Knight's going to be pretty insane for damage. He's just going to be super slow. Did I beat him? Nice, I got it. With 20 seconds left, baby. Let's go!